Hey, what's up you guys? This is Sentai22 here. How you guys all doing? Um, I am back uh, to my regularly scheduled video making. For now at least, uh, the job that I wanted, unfortunately, uh, somebody else have gotten it. But thankfully, uh, they called me on the phone about it and they say that the jobs that I want are pretty common. And so once uh, there's a job opening available, they will call me because I'm the first to be on that list. So thankfully, I will get that job regardless. Um, but right now, I'm going to do my videos in a regular fashion as I usually do, uh, using my HD camera, as you can see, instead of the uh, old school, non like standard uh, uh, video camera. So once I get the job, I'm going back to the standard camera because it's a lot easier to upload. But with this, uh, I just upload it uh, with Sony Vegas, edit it out, and just upload it to YouTube. So anyway, uh, for those of you wondering what do I think of to the Toei Channel uh, launching the a U.S. version of the Toei Channel to the U.S., uh, I think it's awesome. I think it's great that they're branching out outside of Japan. Um, I think the Toei has probably a really good library of J-dramas as well as movies as well as of course you know animes and uh, tokusatsu that they would like to put on the US version of the channel. Uh, I think it's pretty awesome that they're doing that. However, don't expect the current Kamen Rider and Super Sentai to air in the same day as the Japanese uh, airings because this is just basically uh, it's kind of like how Boomerang is Cartoon Network's Boomerang they just show old uh, you know cartoons and all that stuff from their libraries it's the same with the Toy Channel they they basically take uh, uh, stuff from their library like old you know Kamen Rider shows for example Metal Hero shows old, old Super Sentai shows which would be awesome I think but keep in mind, this isn't for the U.S. audience. This is just for people, particularly uh, Japanese Americans or Japanese living uh, in America, uh, you know, and they miss, you know, their uh, uh, and they miss their TV programming. You could say it's kind of like here in in New York City, where the majority is Hispanic, uh, and you know they want to get their uh, TV programming from their homeland, and that's what that's what uh, the Toei Channel provides the uh, Japanese Americans that are living here in the US. So, however, don't expect the Toei Channel to hit your you know, Verizon Fios, DirecTV, or Time Warner cable subscription service. This will be on a subscription service to this, uh, I guess, I could say like an internet cable service. I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, you have to get like this sort of a device or something like that to uh, to watch these shows. But the monthly fee f to get the Toy Channel is twenty dollars a month. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, considering how much you can get with all these other services. But yeah, it's pretty. It's too much in my opinion. But you know what? If you're a to big Togazatsu fan or a big. Uh, anime fan or J-drama or whatever Japanese movie that you like in general uh, this is a great service the only thing is is that I don't really like I said before they're not going to put the current stuff on there it's just basically uh, old shows that's about it so so anyway guys what do you think of the Toei channel getting a US release please let me know in the comments this is Sentai 22 and uh, thanks for watching